Instagram, how's it going? It's Wednesday, so it's time to do a live studio update from me, Ashling Drennan. So this week's, um, yeah, it's been busy because I'm showing work with the Graham Hunter Gallery at the Affordable Art um, next week. So I've just been getting everything like organized, getting work back from my framer, getting my inventory together and making sure that everything correlates and everything is signed and dated and uh, correcting my admin stuff that you need to sit down and do. I do apologize, Nina is here with me today and she's having a great chew on a bone of some sort behind me, so I'm sorry about the noise. So what I'm gonna do is go and it's gonna be on show um, next week. And if you are gonna be in London, so the show is at Battersea Park, it's the Affordable Art Fair. And if you if you fancy coming along, I can send you some free tickets for the Saturday or Sunday. Um, just pop me over a DM if that sounds good. So can I flip my camera around, I think? Okay, so this is a large painting that I did earlier in the year. Enough, I just took it down from storage and hung it under. This is one of my more recent paintings. But you can see the correlation between this painting, the bolder shapes, the the kind of marks going off Being up here as well. So I love seeing that because it's really important that like my work is sort of a constant visual um, dialogue, like from one series to the, to the next. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit because so I'm going to zoom in on some of these paint marks and tones. So this is quite blue, obviously blue, but like this is where I started introducing green into my palette. This was like so January, January, February this year that I was working on this painting. Particularly love this final floating mark across here. Nina, shush. Sorry. <laughs> so this is um, 80 by 80 centimeter. This is also 80 by 80 centimeter. This one has a lot more texture, a lot more like underpainting on it. Um, and it's a bit livelier, even though there's less happening in this, it's because of all the under. So if I go up here, you can see, see all this texture. And this is um, because I put down a lot of heavy marks on the canvas and also used a lot of uh, masking tape to get all these fine strip kind of lines. So masking tape, massive part of my painting practice and what I do. I feel like I'm always talking about it. So if you've been um, following me for a while, you'll be aware of it. If you're new to following me, I do have, a, I wrote a journal post about it on my website if you want to read up in it. It's just a really nice way to make paint barriers and to, to play with the paint. Ooh, yes. Love this mark, this drop down mark. So they're the two large paintings that are gonna be on show. Yeah, this one's kind of quieter. So there's, there's more marks in it, but this one just has more texture happening in it. And then, so these ones on the floor, I've literally just um, unpacked them from the framer. So I'm gonna scoot down and show you these. So these are all uh, works on papers. They're on Fabriano paper. So Fabriano is like a really, um, like a thick, paper that you prime and you can use and pastels and all the materials that I use. So I framed two of them in these blue frames because I wanted to just really get some impact from the background of how they were going to hang. So I'm quite happy with that. So that's the first one. And this is the second one. And I just happened to place this one so then I got the rest of them framed in white but I love the simplicity of this one because it's very quiet on the pink pop love it and then this one is way more complex there's a lot more built up mark making a lot more tonal different so again like this painting was made earlier in the year and this is a more recent one so it's nice to see the development and how you know the the, the the structure and the theme is the same, Doing but it's it just quieter direction, let's say. And then I've got three more over here. Sorry, Nina. Nina's looking for some attention. <laughs> She's like, look at me, leave the paintings. So I wanted to focus on these swish marks as a finisher on these uh, smaller paintings on paper. So I have it there and I have it in this one they're just like a, a dramatic um 
spontaneity about it, you know. The rest of the marks are, are fairly quiet and then you have this real confident swish. I want to say as well, for anyone who's been following me for a while, this is where I started to experiment with that lime green, which was quite new for me. I did speak about it a couple of weeks ago when I was finishing the latest series of work. And also this is where I started. Pink. So pink was just a really uncomfortable color for me to um, play with really and start to use. And it was on these paintings that I started to, hey Nina, <laughs> started to really have fun with it and see how I want. And finally, I'm gonna show you how these works on paper start off. So here's some that didn't make the cut. So this is the this is where I start them off on my wall. I pin them off them off so they have some clean edges for framing and start making my marks on them. They don't all work out. These two I didn't want to frame, they just didn't come together as best as um I wanted. I'll do I might a bit more do. work with them further down the line, but um, there's something just that didn't come together on them. Nina, stop that, good girl, stop that. And then this one, um I actually meant to get this framed but I'm a bit late now because the cutoff was uh, today for framing. So I don't know, I can frame it up again later on and see how that goes. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's what's gonna be happening next week. I'm gonna be um, with the, the Affordable Art Fair in Battersea Park. So if you are in London, let me know and I can send you a code to get a free ticket. Thanks for watching guys as always. Any DM or any DMs, I can't, <laughs> long day. Any questions or comments, and, um, yeah, have a great Wednesday.